What's up everybody? We got a lightning fast tutorial for you today, and that is how to show the app version number and build number in your app, you know, in something like a, a setting screen. So for example, here's how Twitter does it. You can see the version number there. Uh, here's Uber's example down in the slide out menu. And then you also see how YouTube does it. So pretty much every app has this. And uh, some of the reasons you'd want to do this is, you know, when, when your app's out there and customers have it, not everybody updates their apps all the time. So uh, if a customer has an issue, you want to know what version number they're on. Uh, and there's many other reasons, you know, for debugging purposes as well. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to display your version number and your build number. As always, we start with a quick overview of the starter project. Not much here, just a view controller. I made the background this, you know, reddish, orangish, pinkish color. And as you can see, I just have a giant label where we're going to show our version number. Now, like I showed in the intro, you can have your version number anywhere, whether that's in like a table view or just at the bottom of a screen. Uh, either way, you're going to need a label. So that's why we just have a giant label to display that. And then in our view controller, uh, nothing, just a view to load and then the outlet to my version label. So the way we get access to our version, if you click on your project here, uh, you see here under the general tab, we have version number and build number. Now Xcode is going to default to version 1.0. Uh, a very common way to version is called semantic versioning. If you're not familiar with that, I won't go into that now, but I'll leave a link in the description. But essentially, it's major release dot minor release dot patch. So, uh, for example, the app I'm working on, we're not fully released yet. We're just building it out. We haven't launched. So we're on something like this, like 0 0.2.4, right? So again, major version, um, I'm sorry, major release, minor release, patch. So when we do launch, like the official one, this will be like 1.0.0. Uh, and then you can change your build number here, you know, one, five, whatever you like. Uh, so let's go back to our view controller here and start typing the code we need to actually get into this version number. So here I'm going to type out the function uh, and we'll come back and explain it as usual. All right, so here is the basics. We're gonna build on this uh, a little bit, but essentially what we're doing here is we are getting into our um, bundle.main.info dictionary. Now, all this is, this is your plist right here. Uh, so back to the view controller. Now we are force unwrapping this, and you know, as a rule of thumb, you, you want to avoid that, uh, but we know we have a plist. So for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to force unwrap that, but to be fully safe, you know, you could do an if let, or you could guard it, uh, do all that stuff. Uh, same thing here with the version. Uh, so the version, we're going to access this dictionary. And then the key we're going to go to is the CF bundle short version string. Uh, and again, for safety, uh, you could make this a constant. Let's go ahead and uh, illustrate that real quick. So let, uh, okay, version equal, and then do this. Now this is just a rule of thumb for general coding practices. Uh, you don't you want to avoid the stringly type stuff and you want to put it in constants. That way if you ever have to retype this long string, you're not going to have a typo uh, anywhere. And you may be wondering like, oh, how did you know, like where do you know where this is? So if you click on your plist, because remember that's this dictionary we're a uh, accessing, click on the plist, right click it, like right, this is like a human readable version of it. But if you right click it, open as source code, and now you get like the actual code of what the plist looks like. So uh, so basically like it's a dictionary, like we said, and then big dictionary is just keys and values. So here's the key and then here's the value, key value. So here you see we are getting the uh, CF bundle short version string for the key and the value we're getting is going to be 0 0.2.4, which if you remember, that's what I updated it to when I was describing semantic versioning. And then here you have CF bundle version and that is going to be five. That is the build number that I updated to uh, here. So now that you know kind of where we're getting all this stuff from, uh, let's go ahead and uh, add the build number to it here. So let's just go uh, let K build number equal. And then if we want to be really sure we're not going to have a typo, you can go to your plist, uh, find the key, copy, and then paste that in here. And then now we can do let build uh, equal dictionary. And then we're going to do our uh, K build number. And then that is going to be as a string. And then now we want to return a uh, some string interpolation here. So we'll do app version and then uh, version and then comma. Well, we'll just put the build number in parentheses uh, after it slash build. And then just for me, I like to line up my uh, equal signs here on my variables and constants. And so, yeah, so again, access the plist. You see the plist that we uh, saw here. You can get your keys and your values. Go back here. We want the version number, which we got from the CF bundle short string. We got the build. 
here we go. And then now we are returning, the string we are returning for git version is this app version, and then we're going to plug in the version and then the build in parentheses. Now all we have to do is set our label to that. So here in view did load, version label.text equals get version. And then now we're gonna run all that. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we got. <laughs> and uh, I messed up my UI. I forgot I, I set up my UI just for the numbers, not this long sentence. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this app version uh, aspect of it and go ahead and do that. Now we're just gonna have the numbers. And there you have it. There's our version number, the 0.2.4 with our build number in parentheses. And again, as you just saw, you can format this string however you like, however you wanna present your version. Uh, but there you go. Like I said, it is uh, pretty much every app does show the version somewhere. It is good for customer service. If customers have issues, you want to you know find out what version they're on so you can help them. So yeah. That's how you show the version in your app. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out new tutorials all the time. See you in the next one.